So in this video, we'll be discussing how to find probabilities from your Z table. So we're going to start with a negative uh, Z value. Z equals minus 1.93. So when it's negative, it means that it's smaller than the mean of your normal distribution. So we start off by finding the first two, the minus 1.9. So if we look at our table, you will see that your minus 1.9 is over there. So we're basically going to look at this entire row. So once we've got the minus 1.9, now we consider the 3. So now we're going to find 0 0.03 to add to the minus 1.9. And we'll then look at this entire column. And where those two intercept, that is the probability that we're looking for. In this case, it's 0 0.0268. Suppose we have a positive Z value, though. For this, we go and look at the positive uh, Z table. So in this case, we're going to look at a value of 0 0.48. So very much, we follow pretty much the same principle as before. We're going to look at the 0 0.4, which we'll find in, in this row over here. And once we find the 0 0.4, we'll consider that entire row. Next, we're going to find the 0 0.08. And we'll see that that column is 0 0.08. And where the two intercept, that is our probability. So 0 0.6844 is the probability that we will observe uh, a Z value less than 0 0.48. So now we've seen how to find the probability given a Z value, but we can also use the Z table to find a, a Z value given a probability. So in this case, we're going to go and find a probability of 0 0.85. We want to know what is the Z value associated with an 85% probability. So in this case, we're not going to look at rows and columns anymore. Now we're going to look at the values inside the table itself. So if we look over here, we'll see that there is a 0 0.8485 and there's a 0 0.8508. But we can't find 0 0.85 exactly. So in this case, we do not need to interpolate between the two. We can simply choose the value that is closest. So in this case, 0 0.8508 is closer to 0 0.85 than 0 0.8485 is. So the Z value will then come from this value over here. So what do we do now? Now we go and find the Z value associated with this. So first we look at the row. So we're going to see that it's going to be one, right? And next we look at the column. So we're going to see that it's going to be this column. And therefore the Z value that we're looking for uh, associated with 0 0.85 is 1.04. So let's look at another example of how to find the Z value given a certain probability. So let's try and find the Z value associated with a probability of 0 0.0067. So once again, because we're trying to find the Z value, we're going to look inside the table itself. So here we can see that we've got a 0 0.0066 and a 0 0.0068, but we don't have a 0 0.0067. Since 0 0.0067 is equally distant between 0 0.0066 and 0 0.0068, we can therefore choose either of these two. Both of them will be correct. But let's say that we choose uh, 0 0.0066. So then once again, we start with the row first. So the row will give us a Z of minus 2.4. And the column will then give us the 0 0.08. So therefore, the Z value associated with the probability of 0 0.0067 is going to be minus 